All right, I guess we'll start here. What is this, 12 minutes in? All right. Um, we got a couple quests here. This is the Sekiro um, style parry sword fighting event. This is the jet quest. Uh, this also takes place in the new area, so we might as well do this. Because we did Al Haytham's story event. We're all caught up on story quest. The last part of that um, Sekiro event unlocked in like 12 hours, so I'm not going to do that today. Well, we need to be careful. Paimon's heard there's a lot of caravan caravans that have gone missing around here. I guess it's okay to explore here. Which, to that point... Whoop. Meet the exploration party. Kazooie's back, y'all! Oh! <laughs> Never mind, he's died. <laughs> you arrive at a canyon, and the text went away too quick to read the rest. Hey! Who are you? Whoa! Bandits! Bandits? How rude! I'm a Mendes, a scout, and this is huge way! Jet invited us, invited us here. Yes, Jet sent us a letter, and that's why we're here. A letter? Show me! You give Jet's letter to the scout for review. Well, if you're Jet's friends, I won't stop you. You may move on. The tribe's campsite lies ahead. Jet isn't back yet, but Adurfi, Masaria, Mas Masera, and Yuften are in at the moment. They're pretty friendly to outsiders. Don't hesitate to seek them out, but if you dare deceive us, you will find us quite unfriendly indeed. What's the rotation for this party? No riding Shogun, uh, extra damage. See here, we need to move this around. Yeah. Hey. Hang on, there was a... Uh, there, that thing. Don't have a ton of time, but I think I got this. Whoa! I follow the wind. Yeah. 
There's a viewpoint over there. Benefits to a life of wandering. <laughs> I thought y'all had seen the last of Kazaha, but I told you he's for exploration. Makes things a lot easier to get around. Oh, I must have hit the dude that was over there as well. He's not getting up. Cool. Which we are near. Yeah, there it is. I wonder if that cool visual is going to go away by the end of uh, exploration. Kind of like the uh, evil shit that was above that. Just how it happens, though. Okay. Let's do this quest. If I see a puzzle or a Oculus, I'll definitely stop for it, but... Hello, young ones, what do you need? Well, we're here to see Jet. Is she around? Jet, yeah, she's here. Why are you looking for her? We're her friends. Is that, her, is that her little buddy? Is he okay? Friends? Oh. She's mentioned you before, I think. Something about a brave and reliable young woman. Hmm. She's been hanging around outside for too long. I see. To be making friends with rich people in fancy clothing and such. I am rich. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Sorry for speaking so rudely, but I care little for receiving outsiders. You should seek out Matriarch Babel instead about Jet? She's a good kid. So? What do you mean, so? She's a good kid. I don't want to see her come under the bad influence of outsiders. Like I said before, if you need anything, ch seek out Matriarch Babel. Don't bother me. Well, I have nothing else, much else to say to you. Why don't you go see Masira? He's a strange old man. Who knows? He, maybe you'll get a warmer welcome there. True knowledge is not something that can be drawn casually from the Akasha. Instead, the desert dwellers get a more comprehensive education during their long walks across the sands. You notice at the bottom of the title page is an emblem belonging to the Academia Library. Perhaps this book is among those that have been smuggled. A book mangled from how many times it's been read. Seems like it held quite the rapt audience on language and rhetoric. You notice that the bottom of the title page has an emblem belonging to the Academia Library. Perhaps it's been smuggled. An outsider. What are our scouts even doing? Let's see what the scouts have to say, actually. Where did we go to catch scarabs last time? Ah, Sino enjoyers. Foo. Hello, Chrono, I presume. Yes? Shh, let me guess. You're here to find someone, your friend, yes? Yes, but Jed is a good girl. I'm glad she has a friend like you. Thanks. 
Heh, <laughs> anyway, if you don't mind a little advice, you look like a real killer, that, that you do. But companions, those will prove to be your undoing, your fatal weakness. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Consider my words, but a breeze in your ear. Hmm, Mitriarch Babel's not back yet. So you can go talk to Yupton. He's right by the creek where we raise, raise crocodiles. You can't miss it. You raise crocs? 101 painful jokes. Hilarious? This is barely worth a chuckle. Tell a Derfe to never do anything like this again. You notice at the bottom of the title page is an emblem of the academia that's been smuggled. Huh. Lisa might have a thing or two to say about these people stealing books from a library, but... Maybe if it was being kept away from the public and that's why it had to be smuggled out. Take it easy. Oh, wait. I see everything. If she still wants to go ahead... I believe this is new music. Whoa. Oh, caution no longer seems to be popular in the city. It seems that some change in upper management has occurred. Rumors are rife. And the Tsar, the Grand Sage, has been deposed. Gotta get some water. And that those bizarre merchants who clung to his coattails and those of his lackeys have lost their exclusive franchise privileges. It seems that trade between the desert and the city may improve in the future. Many books had bans on them rescinded, but a small minority of seminal academic texts still require one to jump through some special hoops to obtain. For us, the Tanit, this is good news. We now no longer need to resort to smuggling to obtain knowledge. There you go. As for the aid plan that the matriarch has been quite concerned about, it seems that the General Mahamatra Sino, who had a big role to play in recent events, will be in charge of it. But most of the books they will provide for free have to do with basic education and are of limited use to us. Considering that we and the city folk have been at odds for many years, there's reason to suspect their motives for sending researchers to us. These snooping city dwellers are likely no different from those of yesteryear, just looking to disrupt our lives and make a profit for themselves. And if they should show an interest in the ruins of Gurubad and the Eternal Oasis, this could only bring harm upon our tribe. As such, Matriarch Babel, I urge you to give thought to the manner in which we might deal with this latest intrusion from the Academia. The independence and unity of our tribe and our sister tribes and our ability to resist external forces... Or at stake here. And this one's much shorter. In the name of the eternal oath of friendship between the Queen of the Garden and the Queen of the Rainforest, Matriarch Babel Tanit chooses warriors, Azarik, Askir, and others. Salary, thousand mora per day. To escort the researcher, Jazira Yassar, across the desert. To provide protection and all other possible conveniences for the inspection of ancient machinery. Client... Jazira Yassar, Sharawar, Duster, Signatory Babel Tanit, Matriarch of the Tanit Tribe, Contract Pay 500,000 Mora, 100,000 Advanced Salary, and 50,000 as a confidentiality fee. Wow, it's a lot of money going to protecting this guy. Does this tribe uh, seem rich to you? Dad, to, to throw out half a million mora? So I need to go down there for the next part of the quest. I'm just looking around. Oops. Anthology on desert-based archaeology. Large book that's been that's seen some years. It's been flipped through by the. Th Rough fingers of the desert folk countless times. There's some new notes scrawled across its pages. Messy though the notes may be, they still adhere to a certain logic. You notice at the bottom of the title page, and blew me a smuggle.
These guys are nice, I guess. This one asleep? Exploration knowledge. Cascade pools. The ancient ruins of the desert Hadramath. Hadramaveth contain such mechanisms that were once used to guide the flow of water, hit the sprouts, or spouts with attacks to switch between closed and open gates. Sand and grit will flow between them. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Just, I guess, look out for these things on the walls. A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. Crocodile jerky. Hey! Hey! What was that doing in there? Yuffton. Hello, stranger. What do you need? Hello there. I'm Jet's friend. Oh, the matriarch told me about you. You're good folk. If you're looking for Jet, she's still out. Please go over to meet Matriarch Babel first. She's been waiting for you for a long time. About Jet. She's a good kid. And? She's made friends, is very happy, and talks a lot like a little antelope. I'm very, very happy for her. It's getting busy up there. Matriarch Babel has returned. Okay, you should probably meet her. Please don't keep her waiting long. Now what? what? I see everything. Ah, what went wrong with my homemade fungi fertilizer? Open? I need an ancient stone key to open that. Seems to be a piece of literature. The words fly out as you flip through the pages. It's a literary analysis. How disappointing. Though not nearly as carefully formatted as the material preferred by academia students, it is astonishing that the desert dwellers would spend so much time reading such a boring book. It's been smuggled. Lunar philosophy. Big boy. This is a sample list of names. Apart from Messera, all the other names have been struck out. Blade Egg, Wafa, Isder, Medder, Taya, Messera. Hmm. That's not, um, suspicious. Whose tent is this? Putting out a hit on people? Hey, look, there's so many people over there watching something. Is it a something? Probably nothing. Probably not related to the story at all. But I don't know what those outsiders wanted. It's not my fault. Please let me explain, Matriarch Babel. Oh, Babel's a mommy. Babel is a mommy. Please, give me one more chance, Matriarch, my lady. I will prove my loyalty to Tanit. Please believe me, I would gladly offer my life. Silence. She who knocked your teeth out can also remove your tongue. No, please don't! I don't understand. If you're willing to give your life for the Tanit, why are you still standing before me, alive? And another thing, why did you address me as my lady? I don't speak the language of the Snowlands. I do not care for the sophistry of the so-called civilized world. There's no such thing as my lady here. And do enlighten me. What makes you think I'm not your family anymore, but some lady? Your tongue is tainted with outsider poison. 
Your mind stained by their gold. You cannot remain here. I shall speak no further. Lead him away. He was once one of us. So you now know what to do. So you know what to do. <gasps> the weeping man is taken away, leaving an uneasy silence. After a while, the crowd begins to disperse, making room for you to see the matriarch. Ah, uh, what just happened? Whatever it was, it sounded scary. I hate to get on her bad side. Hmm? Ah, my apologies, children. I was a little distracted. I forgot you were there. I'm terribly sorry that you had to see that. I'm at fault. As the matriarch of the Tanit, I'd like to make amends. <laughs> I'd delve into the horny if I didn't have two mugs of to hand wash and my stomach to feed. <laughs> uh, no need. You know, what? with that teeth and tongue stuff and all. Eh, you were simply meeting out punishment against a traitor. All the same, I am sorry for having given you such a terrible first impression as matriarch. The city has its laws and the tribe has its rules. Please do not pay it too much mind. So you two are Chrono and Paimon, yes? Jet talks about you two a lot. We came at her invitation. This doesn't seem like a good time, though. Ah, no need to be polite. I, indeed, I should say that we have a, you have impeccable timing. Ugh. It was I who approved her invitation in the first place. That is how you got safely past the Tanid's hunting grounds. <laughs> While I do feel bad saying this, I invited you here to help Jet with some unfinished business. Hunting grounds? Don't worry, we weren't trying to hunt you. You're an honored guest here. For so long as we remember our guests' faces, we shall never do them harm on our land. That still isn't very reassuring. Oh my god, my fucking mind is gone. Not enough water in my brain. Haha, -ha, now then, don't let me spoil the fun for you young folks. Look, Jed is here. Patriarch Babel, I have returned. Vroomer! How did it go with that fellow? I made sure that he was given sufficient dignity. That's good, but do not be proud of his of this deed, child. This was a tragic affair. He was my tribesman, and yours also. I understand. Did she just execute that dude? Ha, all right. This is not a good day to preach. The friends you've been waiting for have finally arrived, so set your tears aside and greet them with joy. Patriarch Babel, what are you... Long time I see. Hey, Jet, we're here to see you. Chrono and Paimon, too! You really did come! Thank you, Matriarch Babel. I shouldn't have gotten mad at everyone about it. Now, now, of course, I'm happy to see you all together. Whatever it is you want to see or do, I've already approved it. You can put your doubts to rest. Word of caution, however, the road ahead of you will be fraught with danger and intrigue. So be on your guard. Please stay safe. Matriarch Babel, Azarik has sent me to deliver a message to you. Understood. If you'll excuse me, I have tribal affairs to attend to. I'll leave you young ones to catch up. Thanks! Babel hurries away together with the messenger. Jay, you've changed a lot since we last saw you. Heh, <laughs> got a good eye, haven't you, Paimon? So what's different about me? You look a little more tanned? <laughs> hey, mouthy as always, huh? You've matured. Is that so? Oh, I thought you were going to make fun of me or something. Chrono's right. You look like you've really come into your own. Really? I just learned a lot of survival skills here. That's all. Been busy keeping myself alive, you know? Matriarch Babel has taken good care of me all this time, and I've helped her out with a lot of things. I'm grateful that she's accepted me as a member of the tribe. And have you been doing well since we last met? Hardly. Not a moment has passed since, I th since then I haven't thought of you. Wait. Not a moment has passed since then that I haven't thought of you. Oh, hang on a moment. Where did you learn to say all that? Ha ha ha. Oh, and here I thought I'd get you to blush. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All the boys in the tribe are like that. Talking nonsense like this. It's annoying. They can't beat me anyway. <clears throat> uh, to be honest, it's been tough living. But we're all looking out for each other to keep... Looking out for each other and helping each other out. So we can all survive. 
Still, the first days were rough, and I occasionally thought the days back then when my father would teach and protect me. And to think that I used to find him annoying when he was around. But the good old days won't put food on the table today, and Matriarch Babel and the rest of the Tanit have been taking good care of me. So it's better to look ahead. Since the Tanita have accepted me, I'm learning to make myself more useful to everyone. Anyway, let's not dally. I've got some errands to run. And since you're here, why not join me? Whoa. Is that what you did do with old friends? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, people are just busy sometimes, you know? Hmm, let me think. You have to need help feeding the crocodile, so let's go there first. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn out seven pillars. Uh, okay. Feed the crocs! Really, I wish this had voice acting. I'm here, Yefton, and I brought my friends, Chrono and Paimon. Uh, hello, Jet. Have you finished your b b business? Yep, and that's why I thought I should come here to help you out and brought my friends along to boot. Oh, thank you, Jet. You remembered that I had something I needed your help with. Ha <laughs> ha, back when the Elder Bleda was around, I used to pester him to feed the crocodiles together with you. Uh, loose lips sink ships. Um, all right, here's the food. The meat's fresh. Take it. Okay, let's go, Chrono. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Meeting crocodiles is pretty easy. You drop the meat, they follow the scent, and they eat it themselves. By the way, your bitch rock seems pretty fearsome. Oh, you mean what happened just now? Well, it's nothing. We were just dealing with a traitor. I tracked him through the desert for half a month before bringing him back alive. He was crafty and plenty fierce to boot. I had to knock some of his teeth out to subdue him. Ah, my hand still hurts. Wow, that sounds scary. So be careful what you say around me in the future, eh, Paimon? Oh! Watch your teeth, Paimon. Eee! <laughs> Don't be serious, we're all friends here, I'm just kidding. I'll feed you to the crocs. They've sacrificed a lot to adapt to living in the desert. <sighs> Keep! It does look like you've taken seriously, or you're taken seriously around here. Everyone seems to respect you. Well, here's the thing, because of my previous experience with adventurers, I'm more perceptive about things that happen outside the tribe. So the Matriarch decided that it would be my job to track down outsiders and punish traitors to the tribe. She's taking good care of you. Why has she entrusted this work to you? Since I wasn't born amongst the Tanit, it's okay for me to deal with criminals in a more aggressive way. That's what Matriarch Babel told me. Although I don't really care, I'm not sure if this is a special privilege or proof of our estrangement. Well, I wasn't born here, after all, and the Tanit tribe is in a home I'm innately familiar with. I can only try my best to do everything well. As long as I can put some roots down, I think I'll be fine. Isn't that exhausting? It's good that you finally found a home. Ha! Huh, don't laugh now, but I'm glad to see you here. Alright, I think they've eaten their fill. Let's go. Back to Yupton. Have you finished, Jet? Yeah, I'm gonna wash now. Your crocodile food stinks. Smells of raw meat. Ha! <laughs> Does that traitor blood smell worse? Hey, not funny. Thank you, by the way. There's one more thing I want to ask of you. This is the cure crocodile meat that I promised to give a Durfee previously. Pass it on to him for me, would you? 
Sure, I'll give your crocodile meat uh, Durfee, no problem. Hey, that was uncalled for. Ha <laughs> ha, smell you later. She made fun of a stutter, I guess. Your c, -c, c crocodile meat. Let's go find a Durfee next. Everyone hold hands. Durfee, is that the merchant with an attitude? Ah, don't mind him. That's just how he is with everyone. Uh. I'm here at Durfee. Oh, here to show off your new outsider friends? Sort of. By the way, here's the crocodile jerky from Yefton. Ah, thanks. You're so considerate. Heh, no worries. By the way, about Ben Ben. Can you still fix it? Oh, yeah, Ben Ben is his name. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. I'll be able to get it back to you in a couple days. Oh, okay, then I'll get going. Stay safe. Derpy has a lot of nice stuff that you can't find a trade, and people like to go do the, there to do business. You know, to get things like gadgets, toys, new clothes, and cosmetics. Oh, do you wear makeup? What do you mean by that? Lapis Lazuli Eyeshadow is an essential sunscreen for us desert folk. Huh, so that's it. <laughs> Uh-oh. That tent with the crumpled up note and people's names crossed off? That was Jet's tent. Heh. <gasps> <sighs> Running here and there really works up a sweat. Worked up a good sweat? You always this busy? Ha, <sighs> it's fine. I don't like being idle, actually. Ah, but look at me. I didn't invite you guys here so you could run errands with me. Well, so here's the story. Matriarch Babel recently agreed to let me bring Dad's... My father's remains, and those of my mother to be buried in the Eternal Oasis. Oh, that so that's a real place? I won't thought it was just a myth. But the last time we parted, I was so lost, I honestly didn't know where to start looking for it. Matriarch Babel, however, seems very sure that the Eternal Oasis lies in the middle of the desert. The neat, the neat tribe holds, holds that the never-ending sandstorm at the heart of the desert conceals the Eternal Oasis. Unfortunately, that area has been sealed off by the tribe as a taboo place. No one can approach except scouts on patrol. Taboo? Is it dangerous or something? Yeah, some older folks believe that ancient spirits roam there, hungering for souls and flesh. That's probably just a myth. I don't believe it. Sounds like a terrifying place. Why is Babel giving you special permission, if I might ask? It's probably on account of that afraid-of-nothing attitude of mine that Matriarch Babel has taken special care of me. It might also be because I'm half outsider, so I'm able to forego some of the taboos that the elders valued. That's what I think, anyway. Basically, I can bypass the taboos of the elders and explore the eternal oasis. That'll let me fulfill a long cherished wish of mine and secure the future of the tribe, too. They believe that this is where the secrets of the Mistress of Flowers lie. If these secrets can be discovered, they'll give the tribe a new lease on life. I know that this is my duty and honor, but I've been thinking. I've been getting this feeling that I should invite you two to witness it with me. After all, since my father passed, that leaves you as my most trusted friends. The closest thing I have to family right now. That's why I wanted to ask you to join me on this wayward little trip of mine. Chat, you can rest easy. Of course we'll help. We won't let a friend down. Thank you so much, you guys. <clears throat> First, we need to... Go to the ruins of Gurubad to look for this Ginny fragment thing. I don't quite understand it, but the tribe's story said that she's the only one who knows how to open the way to the oasis, so we'll have to find her. Um, and that's all I can tell you, really. I think Azarik can tell you more, so shall we go? Let's. Okay, then we're off. I have so many other things I want to say.
I'm glad to see you too, Jet. There's so much like we'd, we'd like to tell you, but where should we even begin? I know, right? There's so much we all want to say, but now that we've met, <laughs> where should we start, huh? I've learned a phrase here in the tribe, and it goes something like, the closer your home, the more reticent your heart. And, you know, it describes our situation perfectly. Whoa, is this tribe always so uh, eloquent? Okay, game. Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Gather! I see everything! The wind knows me. Got him. How much damage these do? A lot. Enough. He's dead. Uh, uh, this party makeup is not very great for damage, specifically. We're going to be running into combats. Up till now, our cooperation with the Tanit tribe has gone quite smoothly. The Elder Babel has made it clear to Azarik that she is willing to work with us. Helping her take control of the tribe should aid our desert expedition to explore the Eternal Oasis. Transfer power within this neat tribe is complete. The other eight elders have been done away with. A lot quicker than we anticipated. We have no clue what means Babel used. Perhaps some new assassin was called upon. Some have left, others have disappeared. This neat tribe is well organized thanks to Babel and Azari. It seems the tribe recently concluded upheaval has not done any obvious damage to the tribe. This may or may not be a good thing for us. Hmm. Regardless, it is our turn to uphold our end of the bargain. The Tanit tribe will obtain us supplies and technical aid from Shneznaya. So the Fatui are in cahoots with Babel. And, a trove of potential crews. and Jet seems to be um, roped in either knowingly or unknowingly. Hmm. I guess you missed the twist if you don't read the books. Hello. There is no escape. Busted. Lord of Set, your sacrifice is ready. Solidify. Shine down. A golden slumber. A golden slumber. Sneak attack. Stabilize. There is no escape. Committed to memory. No, I was trying to get the fucking. Is this the way we need to go? That doesn't sound right. There's another Oculus in here. There it is. Straight ahead. Should have just kept going. Hmm. 
He didn't have to do this. I see everything. Quietly now. This is where the quest wants me to go. Gotcha. Right, there's a teleport point right over there. We need to grab it and a uh, viewpoint. All right. Get that primos for doing those things. I'm curious what's the other direction. Since it was kind of a, like a secret way to go. There is no the one fall off? See what this what's over this way. Everyone hold hands. Stabilize. Solidify. There is no escape. Hey. Need more. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Just enjoying using the bow every now and again. There's a lot of little, uh, Things here. Oh. No. Uh.
What is... Am I misunderstanding this puzzle? Get to fill both of them up, right? So I shoot this one up here. Oh. I swear I tried that. Maybe the... the... the burst around this? It hits multiple things, so it's not really... yeah. Her insta-charge is throwing me off. I'm not able to precision things because it's uh, hitting multiple things around it. Take that. Ruins here. Quake. Take it easy. It's very quiet here. Okay, let's see here. That side. Turn that one off. Until it fills all the way up. Turn that one off until it fills all the way up. And that went all the way off into a little world. Okay. Yelon's um insta charge makes these a little more complicated. Because it's not about actively hitting it, it's about hitting it with like fucking anything. Oh, a scorpion. And an Oculus. And a teleport. Oh, jeez, this place has got a few things. Oh, and lore. You who come after us, if there was a prayer in the praise of the night, then I would sing its fourth strain in memory of the misfortunate. For Jebrael, who lost his footing... How could, how could one conceive the passing of a cloud or the death of a blowing wind? How might one mark a grain of sand falling into the desert or a droplet disappearing into water? I believe Jabrail would be the last. He should have been the last. But who can say? Perhaps the many mishaps broke him unexpectedly. Jabrail is so agile and swift to think that he would fall off the side of the ruins on the gorge. Unexpected indeed. Now I and Simeo are the only ones left. Yes, we are the last of this little exploration team. This journey is cursed, but no matter. Soon it shall reach its end. Yes, soon. This is the expedition that was like... Um... Like half a million more of... Plus more... To fund it. Some stuff has been going down. Crumble. Crumble. Quake. <sighs> Treasure hoarders here too. Time to go to work. 
stabilized. Shine down. Hey. Gotcha. The hunter. Become the hunted again. Oh, a nameless tablet. An intact stone tablet upon which elegant but incomprehensible text has been scribbled inscribed. Okay. I was just picking up shit. I didn't even realize I could read that. You who come after us. She tricked me. The keystone is real. No wonder Jabrail and Samael believed it so strongly. That great engineer never did leave traces here, just as we've read from those ancient glyphs. I thought there were lies meant to obscure history, but now, the place they described is here before our eyes. This is the third place of worship. Gorobad's secret treasure must be hidden here. This keystone is not sufficient. There must be something else. There must be some other method to open the great gate of Gurabad. As long as we can find our way inside, we can obtain the treasure. Then this expedition would not have been in vain. But then, I... What was I even doing? Hmm. It's just a light source, it's fine. Spooky. Spookular! Where's the last one? Hey. Easy money. All right. We need to get to that teleport point. Whoa! There was a hole in there. There's a note on top of this dude's staff. Enigmatic page. Some things up here. Oh, it's still further up. Rise. <laughs> What's music? Boy, we've barely even done any. Ex we've done. We've explored this <laughs> right here. Not none of this shit. Um. No wait. We just explored this right here. 
because this is like the this is the town we were going this way but I went and went this way instead boy exploration time to go Where is this taking me? A fateful offering. Digging the music. So every time she does her water dash, she gets the instant charge back. So watch, I'll do this. Wait. Oh, maybe you have to hit them. So that's instant. It's gone. Was there something? I felt like I came back in the middle of the combat. Green lifeline. Hydro damage based on the opponent, based on Elon's max HP. After spending five seconds out of combat, 80% decreased charge time. Breakthrough state. Additionally, each opponent marked by the lifeline when it explodes grants Yalon a 34% chance to reset her breakthrough state. So yes, hitting enemies with this attack has a chance to recharge this instantly. Okay. I knew I wasn't crazy. I was like, that came back. I did it like twice in a row. Do, 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 do. What is this? I guess go this way. Shine down. Didn't even know that guy was alive until I saw the dendro thing leading there. Gotta have that foul. Now, don't have a fire character. It's fire team. Huh? 
We go. Let's light it up. I keep like leaving the area just as that song is starting or something. <laughs> it's a miracle. What the fuck is it? This music stand. Maybe I'm getting really close to the. That's what's going on. I keep getting really close to the thing that's resetting the music. Alright, I also need to... Um... Get teleport. Let me get this teleport. Let's go here and get that teleport. And then we'll get back to the quest. But part of the stream is um, doing the story, but it's also exploring this new area. Back up in a sec. The perfect sandstorm. What was that? Easy money. Sandstorm in the desert of Hadramaveth. The desert of Hadramaveth is plagued by calamitous weather on occasion. When sandstorms are ongoing, your visibility will drop precipitously. The closer you are to the heart of the sandstorm, the more intense it will be. Thank you. Did you know that when you're in a sandstorm, you'll be in a sandstorm? Gather. Illusion shattered. Busted. Okay, we're going to uh, that. Getting distracted. Getting distracted. I see everything. Gotcha. Busted. Well, you can really stack up that damage real fucking quick. If you actually use her attack and not just her skill and burst. Interesting. M S K Y Okay Oh, I'm dumb. I thought I had to make them all look the same and not the things behind them. Okay. Meanwhile, this little guy is resetting them. Huh. 
So now he's going away. To hit the thing, hopefully open this up. Yes. Take All right. Them. I have no need. All right. It's fine with me. Stabilize. Shine down. Hey. Let me get the, te the uh, teleport first. Before I get way too distracted. Chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. Wait, she came back. I see everything. Gotcha. Um, I could go down this way, but we're not doing that right now. Oh, before I forget, I've got some wishes. I got eight wishes from random things. We're just going to do those right now. Show. <laughs> Out of all the that I didn't get a wish back. I didn't get a fucking wish for free. I better get purple within these two wishes. So I was getting I was getting five of these for getting Xing Cho. <laughs> but you need 75 to to get one of these fucking wishes on sale. It basically got me one of these. I think that was just misinfo. Talking about you get a free wish if you get a C6 that you already have. It's pretty lame. I guess the the more characters you have, the lamer that gets. Alright, let's uh, continue on this way because I have a feeling that you're probably going to be going like this direction. And maybe even like loop around to, to do things, but let's do that.
Mm -hmm. Go to the temple's gate. Wow, the ruins here are huge. Ta-da! Then these then are the city ruins. I read that some of the old theses you can hear in Adurfi's tent. It seems that this is what the legendary Gurubad. Ah, well, this isn't precisely the place. Gurubad itself is hidden within the canyon cliffs, so they're more like an outlying. That's the book says anyway. Uh, whatever the case, those who first built this place must have believed that the works would last forever. Stabilize. Hmm, so you need to read this part of tribal life, huh? We be talking to quite a bit about this stuff. I mean, the Matriarch Babel practically forces us to read every day, so you know that they're all old books, so it can't be helped. Children of Tanit should not only trust the ways of the desert, all gliding must be ground away by the sands eventually. True gold, uh, what, that's what she said anyway. That's why we just can't just, no, I mean, fight. No Kill, escape. fight, oh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read and fight. Oh, hello. I see everything. Good thing I got a bow character. I don't have to switch out every time one of these puzzles come up. Quicksand Adventurer. I'll take that. It's just Animo. Is there any more of these things? Call it the other direction. It's also that. Where'd the last one be? Ah! There you go. Now that's what I call treasure. Man, they're making me switch my parties around. At least I have parties made for it. Let's see here. Need a better vantage point. Come on. So wait till that fills up. Hmm. 
money. No reaction. A fellow gambler. Yes. Busted. But I make sure my dice are loaded. Shine down. I was gonna say, what did I get from the chest? Trumpet and firewood. Well, solidify. Illusion shattered. Quiet now. Bust it. He like hit it once, he's like, I'm gonna get you! Then it just had a heart attack. Ah! My poor little bird heart! Primal hourglasses that haven't been activated. I see that oculi down there. This seems to be a way to get back up. Uh, I guess I'll take a look. Okay, I guess you just have to glide here. That's sort of the puzzle. Okay. Except... Oh yeah, I guess you need to really... Do that. Well, you already did that. What's in here? There's a chest up there I need to get. Is this from killing things or treasure? One way to draw your target out of hiding. Hmm? Oh. Gather. There is no escape. Everyone help me. Mysterious meat. Oh, it's an obelisk. Wonder how many more of these there are. These aren't too far away. And those are over near teleports. I can grab that. Is this the other hourglass? Yes, it is. Oh, there needs to be... I think there's three of them, then. Can we read this? Yeah. An intact stone tablet upon which elegant but incomprehensible text has been inscribed. Hmm. Take 
it easy. Solidify. These things die a lot quicker than they used to. I guess we'll just grab it here then. It doesn't end it, it just has to be all within a certain amount of time. Very cool. Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Okay, alright, we were gonna go back Take it easy. and get the little tablets. Do the hourglass hourglass puzzle. At least the party switching isn't crazy bad after that first initial one. Let's see here. Hmm? Hey, who are you? You shoot those sand things! Stop it! Wait, is there a second charge? Oh my god. For some reason, I didn't put together that there was a second charge on Yelon's fucking bow. Oh, whoops. Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. So her, um, little, uh, arm thing. It's getting into that second charge. Oh, jeez. Hello. Gather. Shine down. Everyone hold hands. Busted. Quietly now. I'm not sure where this thing is going to go. You are not welcome here, Rocky, today. There is no escape. Hey. Busted. Quietly now. Uh, where did that thing go? Oh, thanks for waiting. I'm gonna get the teleport and then after I'm done with this little puzzle. Illusion shattered. Go back to the quest. 
Yeah. There's also this Oculus here. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Valuables and a trove of potential clues. Come on, where are you going? Okay. Oh, there's two Oculus here. Oh boy, I'm overwhelmed. It's like a puzzle. Oculus on the map. Another Oculus on the map. A fucking temple. Two slates. Let's... Get this Oculus first. At least we can get up with the zip points here. doesn't activate everything around it. It just seemed like it did. Is there another one? Those two are full. Ah, there's that one. to draw your target out of hiding. Hmm. Now let's get these two slates. Just having a nice little camp out. Oops. There is no escape. I see everything. A fellow gambler, would you play what do you want to play some cards? Oh god! Oh, we have uh, more floating rubble here. Alright, so that should be all the, um... The monolith slates. Okay, we good? Put them back. Get some treasure. Mm, easy money. His Majesty King Deshrit return, enraged by the fate of Gurubad. Split the Jinn Mother, Divine Spirit, parts. The seven sages hid them separately. To her was given infinite time, the hope of salvation. That one's mighty short compared to the other ones. Kind of grateful. You're too slow, Jet. I've been waiting here long enough to... Something, something. Look at this guy. You done, Azarik? You bound your head so up so tight that even Alamar himself wouldn't have trouble peeling your skin off. Who knows, he might even laugh at you for being a scaredy cat. Ha! 
Is that how you talk to your elders, little wildcat? Have you forgotten your actual business here? Or about someone's... Or how about... Or about how someone's been waiting for you half a day? Oh, and someone tanning themselves in the sun and having a drink or two passes for business now, does it? Huh. Woe to thieves who make false accusations. Just you watch. Maybe I'll stick that clever little head of yours upside down in the sand. Maybe that'll clear it. Rubbish. You haven't beaten me ever since you taught me how to wrestle. You two get along so well. Yeah, we've never seen two people who start slinging mud at each other the moment they meet quite like you do. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, this is Azarik, a senior of mine in the tribe. He's like my older brother, and he's been a big help. Ah, yes, yes, she treats me like a brother. And we'd get along better still if she didn't like hanging out with the ladies more. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Hey, hey, quit it! Stop giving them the wrong idea! Alright, whatever. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> was he- was he insinuating that she- that she likes girls? And that he would be with her if she was into guys? Okay. Uh, whatever. Crota was it? Take care of her for you, me, eh? She's pretty good, but she likes charging in a danger like a wildcat. What was that? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you just said something bad about me. You'll see. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> okay, I think I get the gist of things. I'll take care of her. Heh <laughs> don't you fret. Chrono's a real experienced adventurer. Things will be fine here with Jet. Just leave it to us. What am I, a child? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's talk business. Matriarch Babel has asked me to guide you into these city ruins. I'll lead the way, so follow closely. Oh, so that's what it was. That's the first we've heard of it, what we need to do all day. Well, it wasn't all that convenient to explain our objective back at the settlement. The matriarch believes the walls have ears. Our objective here is to find the fragment of the Mother of the Jinn. We need an order to be accepted into the eternal oasis at the desert's heart. The Jinn were the familiars of the Queen of All Oases. All Oases. So it will naturally accept their presence. The powers were also intended to create fertile lands amidst barren la sands. So we, uh, well, Matriarch Babel, needs, to, needs the aid of the Jinni to restore the fertility to our tribe's soil, which will maintain the health of our herds. Also, this particular Jinni, Jinni still maintains her intelligence, so we should be able to pass through the seals on the Eternal Oasis with her aid. Yep, what he said. All right, that's that. To enter the ruins, we need to handle these mysterious devices first. For example, this one seems to be able to blow away sand in a specific direction. Although I'd call it something more akin to breaking a seal, really. Whatever the case, even though the method to unlock them has been lost, some trial and error on my part has been has shown that heavy impact can change the direct in, direction it's facing, creating runes that flow. That should rid us of those annoying piles of sand. So, let me guess. Point wind... That way, to clear the sand off of that. Oh, what do you know? Oh, why didn't I think of that? Nice! This way we'll know what to do with the next time we encounter this kind of... Same device. Nice, the gate's open! Time to explore! You literally, like, told me, like, hey, impact! Just make it change it. You could call it a Genshin Impact. <coughs> and it blows away sand! <laughs> Boo! Meanwhile, the game is just... Let's go, lesbians! <laughs> Oh. Spookular. I looked it up. Apparently she was falling spookily danger. Oh. Apparently she, instead of being like embarrassed, she goes, got a problem with that? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely related to her liking girls, and since you're a girl, yeah. she's like, hey, don't give her the wrong idea. <laughs> she She's girlfriends with uh, the Traveler then, huh? Hmm. 
The temple's safe. I don't see any enemies, monsters, or dangerous devices. There's just this big thing. Heh, <laughs> how interesting. According to archaeological records left by people who came before us, as well as a stone slate that Adderfi got from within some ruins, this big object over here is the main device that keeps the Mother of Jin sealed. Just from basic observation, I'd say it's connected to the machine next to it. Perhaps they can be made to move in tandem somehow. Ah, so we'll need to unlock this one by the side here to move the big object in the middle. That's about right, I think. As for what happens afterward, I think we'll just have to cross that river when we get there. Funny, I don't see any rivers. Oh, knock it off, Jet. So I think we just need to repeat what we did at that gate. Let's crack this device open, shall we? Okay. I guess we need to turn it on. Cracklin, I'm not seeing any dropped frames, and the, the CPU is down at like 54, maybe getting up to 60%. I think when it gets in like the 70s or 80s, it really gets out of hand. Is it crackling like right now when I'm doing this? Because I'm like, I'm pulling on the wires to see if like the wires are doing anything. That's... How about when I do this? Is it when I'm crackling like this? Is it crackling right now? Okay, how about right now? Any, any crackles? Any crackles at all? While I'm doing this? A little bit? Well, how about when I'm not do moving at all? Is there any crackles when I'm not moving at all? Just normal talking, no moving. I'm wondering if moving the wires around causes a crackle, if that's a hardware thing. I don't think so, though, because it happens no matter what mic I use, I would assume. Yeah. Let me see something. I want to check something. Do you hear crackles whenever I do... Can you hear me right now? It got more crackly? Yes, I turned off what the audio program is doing. Which is like removing white noise. I'm just going to turn the audio program off entirely when we see something. Okay. This is without any sort of pro post processing or anything like that. Which means I could, ah, uh, yeah. Clip the audio if I talk too loud. Um, do you hear crackles right now? At all? No crackles at all? Let's just see if there is any crackles at all. Because um, if there is, then it's the streaming software. If it's not, then there's something to do with the uh, audio program that I use to enhance my voice with taking away white noise and doing stuff like that. No crackles right now? Hmm. You'd think at least once by now. Yeah, I think it would have happened already. Okay. Well, shit. That means it's the audio program that's been causing crackles. Or the audio pr program even being open. Yeah, okay, well, so right right now I have it on, but I'm not actually feeding it through at the moment. Do you have any, hear any crackles right now? Okay. Um, it's taking up CPU to run the program, but I'm not actually no. pumping it through anything. Yeah. Okay, and so if I do this, and I do this, uh, I'm about to change the input 
device back to what y'all are used to, right here. So this should sound better, but is there any crackles while I'm doing this? Immediate cr crackles? Yeah. I might have to find a... What does that sound like? I actually want to listen to this. Can I monitor this? How can I do this? Audio hardware. Uh, output. I want to hear. Set. Have... Okay. Is there crackles? Crackle, crackle, crackle. Yes, crackles for sure. Hmm. Do this. Yeah. This might be something I have to toy with off stream. Yeah. Um, basically go until I don't hear crackles. Turning the limiter off. Makes me quiet. Uh, but do I crackle? Ah! That clips audio. So it might be the limiter. You heard the crackle. It's like a split second. Yeah. And are y'all hearing me twice right now? No. Probably not. Okay, so I'm. I... Okay, so you're hearing my desktop audio and not my actual mic. So you're hearing what I'm hearing. And I'm not hearing crackles right now. Oh, there's a little bit right there, though. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Okay. Okay, what if we get rid of... Ugh. <sighs> and this is all good. But it's got the crackles. Yep, I'll look into it after the stream. Has it just been getting worse? This, uh, this whole stream, though? In about an hour. Okay. Okay, I guess. Welcome back to Crackleville. Damn it, I almost find a program and test on it to avoid crackles in the future because 100% it's the software. And not even my computer running hard. I'm assuming you're doing something on there. Yeah, why? All right, minimizing. Does it look like it's running fine now? Yeah. Okay. Well, the machine started, but the sand pile is gone, but the main device hasn't responded at all. Hmm, did it not work? Wait, Chrono, you're the only one who can use the elements, right? Hmm? Well, what I meant to say is, unlike us, you need to borrow the power of ancient spirits. Your elemental abilities are innate, yes? Yeah, that is the case. So, what about it? Why don't you try touching this big thing over here? Um, but what if it turns out to be super dangerous? Hmm. Don't worry about it, Paimon. We've touched all kinds of crazy things in the past, Paimon. 
You say that, but we should be careful all the same. Touch. Ah, that's what I thought. Look at the device earlier smoothed out of its... Looks like the device earlier smoothed out of its charging uh, circuits. Looks like it's showing us all the location of the other three other devices, too. I suppose that if we go to these devices, we'll be able to activate all four of these seal-breaking machines and clear the sand piles in front of us. I, I think that's how it is, judging from my previous ruined delving experiences, anyway. Ah, oh, you sure do knew a lot, and here Paimon thought you were just some guy in a tribe somewhere. Hey, hey, give the man res some respect, Paimon. Eh? Oh, sorry. Ha <laughs> ha, what do you even mean by that, Paimon? I'm a tribeswoman myself. All right, all right, enough chit-chat. Let's follow the directions we've been given and look for the other three devices. Let's, let me think. Let's start here. How do you know that we need to go this way first? Ha, <laughs> a desert dweller's intuition, perhaps? Hmm, if we get lost, it's on your head. Relax, both of us are here. If things go bad, we can fight our way out. Or flee to safety. Still, I wonder, Azarik, you always seem to know things we don't. You've taught us a lot, too. I guess that's why the Matriarch favors you, huh? Hmm. Eh, it's not a big deal or anything. It's not like we're in a bunch of st stolen hermits or something. Uh, okay. Oh, that's how it is. I got lo locked up on the word stolen and didn't actually read the whole thing. Illusion shattered. Hey. Busted. Solidify. Oh my god, that's a lot of text. Curiosity deserves a reward. Records of Burabad, part one. Uh, to Lord Hyberius, General of the Calvary, after much deliberation, the Council of Nobles has decided to reject your request for funding. It is apparent that the shrinking of the local oases and degradation of irrigation facilities has no ha had no impact on overall agricultural production, and that any negative consequences can be resolved via the self-regulating nature of long-term commercial and industrial operations. Considering the long-term state of poverty and rebellion in Panjava, and the increased activity of the adherents of the brass mask, Treasury believes that any sort of monetary reward, industrial or commercial investment, will prove futile, and indeed will damage the interests of the nobility. Do recall, Sir General, that the noble estates are the pillars of the nation. Your duty is to put these rebels and heretics down with an iron fist, and to spur the people unto hard work and prosperity, not to arbitrarily request funding with which to aid the indolent and the insurgent. In the name of His Majesty Parvajran, the Spirit of Victory, the Council of Nobles once again hereby transfers 30 riot control constructs and 400 weapons of various types, swords, spears, crossbows among them, infused with gin fragments to you, General Hiberis, for your judicious use. That seems like a fun time. Well, can I change the wind to blow this way? Yes. Turns out some real thick roots sticking out of them from time to time. Strange. And all the more that indicates that this, this place was far more humid than now. Than it was. By the way, there's a spring deep within this canyon. I'd hazard to guess that it's all that's left of the old real river value. No, it would be nice to have Bin-Bin was with us. Bin-Bin? I don't know if he's still trying to figure out what's wrong with it. 
Stabilize. Shine down. Nice it's face. It'll be action back in action before you know it. Quietly now. Stop making me read while doing other things. While it progresses on its own with no voice acting. Uh, is this the god they served? Looks really solemn, but a little something. Okay, we're gonna need fire in a sec. Solidify. Illusion shattered. Everyone okay? Gotcha. Okay, well, I need the thing to be able to see invisible things in the first place. Look, the sand has been blown away! He split Robin's arrow in twine! Shine down! I see everything! Oh, I need to get his thing away. He's just setting it off. Okay, so now I get, need to get the sand blown over here. Couple things. All right, that's one device done and bust, done and dusted. Mm, the door we can't has been sealed. We're gonna have to find another way through. Uh, his Majesty Parvazron, the spirit of victory has been lax of late in the practice of his faith in King Destret. Temples and carvings have not been maintained in some time. As priests, we believe that shrinking of the oases, the deterioration of the harvest, and the rise of the brass mask heresy all find their roots in the lapse of faith. Failing in one's faith is tantamount to a failure of morality, and mor moral rot leads to a nation of chaos. Nation to chaos. We urge the high priest to remonstrate with his majesty in time. As for the dissatisfied citizenry, clergy of all levels should spare more time and effort to teach them to love their neighbor and help to maintain order, rather than pursue these baseless fantasies to prevent the stirring of trouble from nothing and the destabilization of society. Much to, of the content in the middle was either has either become blurred or is mythi missing altogether. Either way, these sections are indecipherable. King Deshret no longer answers the cries of the High Priest. This bodes ill. Queen Sharon has ceased to be seen at court, and His Majesty Parvazron does not ask after her whereabouts. Perhaps the folk tales of the Demon Queen may yet be true. Or perhaps it may be possible to exaggerate that title and turn folk gossip to better ends, such as suppressing the spread of this brass mask heresy. Talking a lot all at once makes me need to yawn, because I'm like, it's a difference in, uh, not enough uh, breath, I guess. Wait a minute, is it... Is there not like an invisible seeing thing in here? Like a little thing to activate in order to get that chest?
I was gonna say putting out torches. You don't think that actually? No, what? Seriously? Oh, there's this here. Where's a little, um, diamond to put in it? Is there one behind here, maybe? Nope. Uh, maybe I'll find one later, or maybe when that door opens back up. I don't know. It's just this place looks like it's opening up a lot, and I'm just missing that treasure chest now. Illusion shattered! Seriously. Solidify. There is no escape. Well, well, You're bigger than the other ones. I thought you were just a fucking ra ra random ass bird. Okay. Stabilize. The temple of wisdom. Torn to oblivion. Huh. Okay. See, I didn't realize we were getting into, like, a... There was a chunky bird. That was a trick! Hmm. So, let's see. Yeah, there was just a fucking boss bird up on that ledge. I was like, I'll just shoot it like I shoot the little ones. Yep. Hmm. Take it easy. We need an underground map. Distractions abound. Quietly now. Okay, I have a feeling that's the way to go. Uh, Busted. Committed to memory. It's so cool, and the water's so clean. Let's make a camp here and rest for a bit. Yeah, make sure you dry yourself first. You'll be dehydrate quickly once you get under the sun again. Sure, sure, I got it. So this is the way to go. Of course it is. Fucking dove off. Just fucking ready. Alright. 
course. Solidify. Quietly now. A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential crews. Hey, fellas. Stabilize. Illusion shattered. You can't run. Well, I miscalculated. Okay. If people are begging for underground maps, yeah, they're definitely going to add them because before. They didn't have these things, little underground indicators. And these were a part of the uh, interactive map on their website. And underground maps are currently on the interactive maps on their website. So I think it's just like an update behind. So I'm thinking either 3.5 or 3.6 should have underground maps. Especially if they're going to keep adding more and more. Oh, jeez. Sp this place spit off in like six directions. Okay, this is where we came from. At least we know. This is where we came from. Okay, and then we got left and right. Let's go left first. Is this the place we were earlier? Or is this just a... Oh, this is part of that fucking tomb. Really? Wait, was this hole in the wall not here before? Or this door is closed? Mm-hmm. This definitely was not here before. Either this... That door is closed, or this one was. Because we did not have access to this temple beforehand. I'll go down. That's the story. Solidify. There is no escape. Gotcha. Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. And here we've been before, at least up above. Uh, is there a clue anywhere? Well, they're all the same symbol, so that's not it. So that I have to match it to something that's in the room. Maybe all the same symbol that's somewhere else. Huh? Fuck me, Zhongli. Just fucking go up. Okay. Um, looking like 
M snake three dots. M snake three dots. One man's stone is another man's gem. Gather! Shine down! Bust it! Guys really wanted to get involved down here. Like, oh, well, we want to be a part of the battle. money mm. yeah we'll just go up being able to zoom around and not consume stamina. Take it easy. Gather. Shine down. Everyone go in. Gotcha. Hmm. Easy money. Gosh, I remember when I was using bursts on normal enemies. It said that the destruction of the city was not a deed done without from without. Huh? Most of the damage was done to the interior. Perhaps it was a slave revolt or a civil war between priests. It can also be the work of long years of disrepair and wee nut activity, right? We nut? I doubt that much at least. We nut don't care to touch these ruins. Alright, enough ghost stories for now. Let's keep going. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? Mm-hmm. Well... Was I just overthinking it? I, I saw torches that could be lit and thought, hey, maybe. Perhaps there's a puzzle to be had. That reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> when she said easy money, you heard easy mommy. Back at the temple. I want the diamond thing that uh, unlocks the treasure chest. How are you all not dizzy from looping around? Yeah. I got stuck in a root. What is this up here? It's just a purple glowy plant. Hmm. 
Ich stark an. Now this place is open back up. Oh, maybe it's under this fucking... Did I not do this? Oh my god. Solidify. Quietly now. Alright, go into the fire party. Turns out that thing I was looking for was under a pile of sand. There we go. Now that's what I call treasure. Bennett needs to get some treasure every now and again. All right. Good. Curiosity sated. It was bothering me. I was like, there's no fucking way that this is something you can go back to. That chest is not good enough to be something you have to come back for. Hmm? Oh. A lot of the ruined areas we encountered on the way show signs of man-made damage. There might have been unrest here, or even a war. I'm no researcher, but so I can't really read any pattern in these markings, but I doubt that the fate of this temple was a peaceful one. The books say the Gurabad was destroyed with searing fire and the great anger, anger of the jinn. The jinn? Perhaps it looks like more... Uh, perhaps it looks more like the work of a mob. Soldiers are perhaps even tribespeople like us? But who knows, eh? But we can think about that later. I think this big guy here is our more pressing concern, no? Indeed. Perhaps the other chambers are still all are all structured like this one. Let's look around again, shall we? All right, I'll mark our path. Uh, mark? I don't didn't see you do that. We use scented oils from the wee nut larvae, planting it to mark the path we must tread, so that if we do get lost, we can just follow our nose to get find our way back. Now I'll have you know that our wildcat's nose is very sharp. We hunters wouldn't get very far without her. Stop saying all that stuff, Azarik. That's right, you blockhead. Stop bullying our little wildcat. <laughs> Look, her first standing on end. What's a wee not larva? <laughs> you blockhead. Stop bullying our little wildcat. I don't know which one to pick. Join the bullying? Slight bullying, but standing up for her? Or just change the subject entirely? Yeah. Stop bullying our little wildcat. And you! Don't you start with that nonsense, too! <laughs> oh, boy. Lesson over. Sand pile here has been scattered! Now we have the sand ceiling in this place, we can move on. Uh, can we? I don't think we can. There we go. Look, there's sand flowing down from the cracks. It seems that this place is deeper within the ruins shaking. Yes, I sense it too. <laughs> this isn't... Oh, I can move it. I, th I thought the wind was going to move it. You can move the thing! I think it's good where it is. I just need to hit this. Oh, well. Did 
Then we hit this. Then we hit this. Treasure. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Okay, another one of these rooms right here. So we just need to open this device and we're done, right? Not the teleport. She really does, like, pack a punch. She's doing more damage than I was putting her in the party to do. As far as DPS is concerned. She was going to be more for, like, running fast and also doing some hydro application. Third and fourth floor honor guards have not sent word for a long while, and the dusk birds sent to them have not returned. Perhaps this is due to the ubiquitous and thick smoke. It must have scared them all away. It is the 13th day of the Great Revolt. The temple guards have resisted four charges this day alone. These people were dressed in rags, but they bore brass masks. Some of them wore masks made of wood or paper painted that color. Some holy statues were destroyed, and all the statues of His Majesty Parvizron were toppled. Despite the construct forces defeating them time and time again, they have retreated for now, but will almost certainly be back. King Deshred is the god of war and order, but his temple now trembles under the footsteps of these furious people. The annexed temple is burning, and the high priest was dragged away. Hava found him while investigating the area, but not all of his parts could be recovered. Perhaps they were fueled by overwhelming hunger or anger. General Hiberus has gone to see his majesty. Perhaps this is the last time we shall see the mighty Parvazron give a royal order in person. Seems fitting that the god of war would die to it. But that's not, um... There's some ruler... Dictating the god's will, right? Not that well, either. Oh, gotta Jeez. go that way. Locked in again! Any treasure chests in this room to distract me? Nice, it's open! So these devices are leading us to return to the main temple via alternative routes after all. There's a teleport nearby, or a, uh, sorry, uh, Oculus. Ah, uh, look at the destruction of this place. The collapsed walls and that huge hole in the ground. It really makes you wonder what sort of... Hmm, even the gods cannot save a temple built atop quicksand. Is it up there? I don't know if it is. It's close. Might just be in this next room, right around this way. There you are. Stabilize. Shine down. Quietly now. I think they'd send bigger guys by now. Give me another one of them boss birds. I want to have another crack at it. Gather. Illusion shattered. to memory. Gotcha.
All right, I forgot that right clicking centers the camera. Boy, I wish I could like remap the controls to have that do something else because I hardly ever right click. Busted. Whoop. Gotcha. A chest full of valuables and a trove of potential clues. Those things die? Oh, I must have accidentally <laughs> hooked them with the, the wire as I was running by. Whoops. I was just running. It just got tangled in mommy's spider web. That'll work. Share my knowledge. Things are about to get done. Inazuma shines eternal. Shine down. Gather. Certainly worth the extra mile. Nice. I mean, I'll use my burst if they're gonna pop up some shield enemies after me defeating two others. Like, oh, you you think you were done? Not quite. Bleep. Hmm. These empty hallways will all eventually lead back to the same center. How did the people who worship the gods live here? All right, little wildcat. Rather than caring about how non-dead people lived, you should have cared for... Oh, I have cared for how you might... Sure. What? I didn't get to read it. Oh, but let me guess. You can't bear to tell me. Hmm. You two really do get along nicely. Wow. Wow. Really? Wow, and we got one of these chests. Certainly worth the extra mile. Good lord. Uh, yeah, some of these puzzles don't really match up with the reward. Stabilize. Now we're back in the temple. Let's activate that next device real quick. Right quick. Now before I do this... That's way over there. Oh, we got 40 seconds to do this. It's fine. to draw your target out of hiding. Alright, let's keep pushing on. Uh, I'm probably going to be done with this in about 10 minutes or so because they said they were going to be playing Tiny Tina around 7 and 6.42. Activate device and in turn another machine somewhere within the temple. Now. Okay. Click the last one.
People said that it had been first built by the vassal king named Orzammar in remembrance of the god king Almar, but eventually both he and his god would be buried in this desert. For us desert people, there's an inescapable fate. We come from the soil and return to the sand. It's a simple matter of being born and dying. Stabilize. Shine down. Okay, then this one gets activated. And then it blows this away. Oh, there's a Oculus here. This way. This is the place, then the device should be here. These guys are enemies. Gather. There is no escape. I see everything. Quietly now. Gotcha. There's a device. There's the Oculus down there. Okay. Uh, let's get the teleport. Take it easy. Okay. This takes us down, maybe? Oh, yeah. Quake! How embarrassing. Listen, the device has been activated too. And that's a wrap. Let's go back. Not quite yet. Unless that's what you meant by that. Going that way. Is there anything in here? Anything else? I guess the Oculus being in plain sight is the cue to go like, yep, that's everything in here. We just made this entire room just for this puzzle. Okay. I can see the device we need to activate even from right here. That's got to be the last one, right? All right, now go to touch the central device again and see what happens. Touch. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah. Thanks, I'm all right. That's good, that's good. Whew, that gave Paimon quite a fright. A tremor source should be to the north, outside the temple. Yeah, I sense that too. Wait, why couldn't Paimon tell? Because you fly. <laughs> right, that's true. Well, it's not like flying doesn't come with its own troubles, you know? Let's go have a look, Chrono. Something huge is bound to have happened. There they're gone. 
There's a treasure chest down here. Luxurious chest. Mm. Easy money. Mmm. Easy mommy. So now we can just go to here. I'm gonna stop real soon here. Like lamb to the small. Solidify. Illusion shattered. This place is really Busted. Everyone hold hands. You want this one. Find anything you like? Um, yeah, just go over there. Have a look at this. Oh, the sand retreated. So this was beneath the desert all the while. That's right, more ruins. A plaza with sides of seemingly equal length, and new doors opened up on the opposite cliff. Is that our destination? That's for you to explore, I fear. Huh? Aren't you coming with us? Sorry, but Matriarch Babel only asked me to open the way for you. You'll have to embark on the rest of the road yourself. I trust that you can protect your friends, right, Jet? Oh, stop with that. You... What are you, my dad? I know. Stay safe while you're heading back. You hear me? Of course. Chrono, you take care of Jet as well. Huh? Why is Azarek just up and leaving us like that? Isn't he going to go deeper into the ruins with us? He's gone as deep as he wants to go, I think. These ruins are a cursed, taboo place to us, Tanit. And the tribe's quite sensitive about that sort of thing. But since I count as a half-outsider, I've got no qualms about going further. And anyway, you can't expect me to let you guys down. And you did ask us to help you find this oasis thingamajiggy anyway, right? We're with you to the end. Ha! Thanks. Well, let's proceed. We've only got each other from here on out. Yep, don't worry. I'll watch your back for sure. We're here. Okay, let me just invest your money, and it's gone. Call this canyon the Great Rift because of the Maw of the Earth. Pretty funny, huh? There's a legend in our tribe. They say that in the days of Queen Naboo Malakita, this is a verdant land ruled and blah blah blah. But later the foolish giant grew vines that reached up to the heavens in order to listen to the news of the heavens. Divine punishment came with them as a result. We young people don't really believe in these faraway tales. Natural one. But it's best to believe they're bad luck. After all, we walk with depth whenever we walk through the desert under such conditions, you know. It's better to be safe than sorry about these superstitions. Oh, so that's why Ezreek didn't want to go this way earlier, right? That's right, but I'm half outsider, so it's fine. Hey, yeah. Let's see if I can hit the bird as it's flying by. That'll be the last thing I do on the stream. Mm -hmm. Ah, just missed. That is an achievement, by the way, to, to shoot a bird out of the air while it's flying like that. I just got a long, long time ago. Uh, one more thing. Thanks for showing me this thing I already know about. Mm hmm. I've already been this way, so you gotta move your little silly butt. We've done all this.
Hmm. All right, so next, uh, Easy money. next Genshin stream, we'll continue this uh, jet quest. Splat or slash exploring this whole fucking region, which again, we've explored this chunk right here on the stream. In the two hours we've been playing, we've explored this right here. Uh, so we have not explored all of this. So look forward to that. But I'm going to hop off right now. We're going to be back very soon with Tiny Tina, depending on if the guys are ready to go. But uh, be back soon. Uh, yeah.